Hey there, thanks for checking out the Migraine Guy YouTube channel. If you want informative and entertaining content as relates to headache and migraine conditions, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That's what you get here so that you can know that you are not alone. Now, let's get to the video. All right, everyone, it's Kevin here, the Migraine Guy. Thanks for checking out this video on what you can do on your uh, desktop computer, your laptop computer, and your mobile device, your cell phone, in order to reduce eye strain and light pain associated very often with headache and migraine conditions. So this is just the basic home screen of my phone. As you can see, I'm just opening the Twitter app as it normally functions. White background, white header. If you click the uh, top left circle icon, your image, it'll open up the menu options. At the very bottom, there's a night mode toggle switch. If you go ahead and flip that, as you can see, all of the dark colors become light, but most importantly is that all of the light and white colors become dark, a kind of darkish blue that is uh, on every single screen that you, the, uh, the Twitter app has. And so that makes the eye strain much, much less intense. And that is a wonderful thing if you like using Twitter, but have headache or migraine conditions. And so have some sort of photophobia. If you ever need to switch back to the white screen, you can just do the opposite as you did when you switched it to night mode, go to the menu and turn off night mode. And as you can see, it goes back to the white screen. But I'm going to go ahead and switch it back to night mode because it is my preferred way to use Twitter. Speaking of Twitter, if you are not following me on Twitter, you should check out all those followers. Shameless self plug. Now, it's important to remember that not every app has that functionality, and that is somewhat problematic for headache and migraine sufferers. So, you can take a more global control of your phone if you use some apps that are allowed to. Uh, interact and override basic functions and display settings on your phone. Now there are two things to keep in mind about night mode. Night mode, first of all, isn't offered on every single app. It's one thing that um, lots and lots of headache and migraine sufferers wish was available in a lot of apps, but it just isn't right now. It's not the, uh, the most demanded feature from a lot of very popular apps. If you want to email developers, you can certainly do that. Get a hold of them, tweet at them, let them know you want night mode in your favorite app. But the second thing to keep in mind is that even if you have night mode, that does not stop the blue wavelength of light, the light wavelength that has been associated with being a trigger for headache and migraines from being emitted from your phones. It just takes away from the eye strain. And so you uh, might also want to consider an app like the one I'm going to look at here called Twilight. Twilight is an app that lets you reduce the blue wavelength emissions from your cell phone's uh, screen. And what that does is it helps prevent triggering headache and migraine when you're exposed to your phone screen for certain amounts of time. So I'm going to go ahead and get the app open here. All right. So as you can see, there are a variety of settings that we're going to need to get into. So we'll do that in just a moment, but I'm going to go through the basic functions of the app. This is the introductory splash screen that explains some of the science behind why a blue light filtering app might be beneficial for you just to sleep. Now, if you check out some of the other videos on my YouTube page, you'll certainly know why blue light filtering uh, with sunglasses such as the Somnilite migraine glasses could help. Now, an app is great because you can do things like I'm showing right here where you can set an alarm on your phone phone, which isn't an alarm that's going to wake you up, but it's an alarm that at a certain time the app will kick on and protect your eyes from that harmful blue light spectrum being emitted from your phone's screen. Now, as you can see right here, I haven't set up any particular alarms on my phone, and so the app cannot connect to those alarms, but if you wanted to, it is a function that you could take advantage of. Say when you get off of work or when you wake up or before you go to bed, if you want it on at a certain time, you can make that setting happen. So that's pretty cool in terms of prevention. All right, so let's understand these top three uh, sliders. They're color temperature, intensity, and screen dim. Color temperature, uh, 
if you want to look up what actual color temperature is, feel free to do so. But basically, it's going to be how red or how not red in terms of color awareness that your eyes are going to be in regards to your screen. So the lower your color temperature is, the more red it's going to appear because the more blue is being filtered out. And the higher your color temperature, and as you can see, if you go above 3500K, it gives you a warning that it's not actually helping you anymore then you will see more blues and so your screen will look more normal. So that is temperature. Now intensity basically means how intense do you want the effects of the app to take control. So as you can see, as you go higher on the slider, the more red your screen appears and the lower you go on the slider, the less red it appears. And the screen dim function is basically like the screen brightness function that you're probably familiar with, but it controls more of the screen brightness. And so you can turn it down lower than factory settings. So those are the basic functions. If you uh, scroll down to the bottom, it says more settings. If you click that, it brings up a variety of different things that you can adjust about the app. Things about how it functions within other apps, things about how it relates to your wallpaper, whether or not you want it to show up on your notification menu, if you want it to use certain aspects of your GPU, uh, and if you want it to start on boot. When you start up your phone, if you restart it or turn it off, do you want the app to automatically start? So there's a lot of options there to fine tune how you want the app to work. I'm just covering the basic items because those default settings that the app has seem pretty solid. And as you can see, when you go back to the home screen or even into an app like Twitter, when Twitter's using night mode, the app twilight still overlays on top of that. And so you get the benefits of both not having the brightness from the Twitter app and the benefit of filtering out blue lights. As you can see, my home menu, my uh, app menu, all of them are being filtered by the Twilight app. And so that's gonna reduce the amount of eye strain and triggering from blue, uh, the blue wavelength of light that we're looking for in these kinds of apps. So that's the end of this mobile video. I'll be doing one on desktop options soon. So check back, make sure to like the Migraine Guy Facebook page, make sure to subscribe to the Migraine Grain Guy YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at The Migraine Guy. And until next time, take it easy. Thanks for watching the video today. If you want to help keep everything that The Migraine Guy does free and regular, head over to patreon.com slash the migraine guy. There you can become a patron. A patron is someone who contributes a monthly financial amount to me, the migraine guy. It can be as low as a dollar a month if you want it to be. And that helps me fund things like product review videos like the one you saw today. Additionally, it helps me upgrade things like camera quality, microphone quality, computer software, so I can continue to bring you not only good content, but good content that is also good quality. If that's the kind of thing you're into, please head over to patreon.com slash the migraine guy and become a patron today.